there's some overdub guitars we're going to work on, which will be... That's over one of them. Then we have a... Uh, I think this is over, um, what is it, the verse section. And you'll have... And this is X Drive, and this goes out to Richard. Uh, you want to tune flat for this? Great band. They've got that full-on '80s vibe. Very uh, hard rock commercial. In my mind, a lot of times I'm always I can hear like little influence things, or maybe it's just me, but I hear like. Just that really good songwriting um, concepts like Y&T had or Mr. Big, Bon Jovi. It's just very radio friendly. And if you can walk away from something and, you, and you're humming the melody, you did something right. And that's how I feel about this song. So um, a couple parts you heard me explaining as I was playing. I'm going to show you the distortion and I'm going to show you some of the clean guitars behind that. 2G, 3B, once again we're tuned flat. Hit those two strings twice. Palm mute the open D four times. That's the first part. Then we have some double pull offs. You want to go 4 2 open on the D string. Be sure to get good pull off pressure. Catch the finger on the next string. We're only picking the initial one, the fourth fret. So have both fingers down. Pick, snap, snap. Same thing on the A. Good exercise. I suggest you take that, work it up all the strings, different frets and groups of twos, threes, you know. You know, apply it and you'll get better at it. Um, so the next chord, you're going to do the same thing. We're just dropping in different chords, keeping the techniques the same. The palm mutes will be off the, the roots of those chords. Open A, 2D, twice. Strum it. And then there's your open A, four times palm muted. And then your technique, 4-2 open on the D and A. Pick, pull, pull. This next one, I like how... Uh, guitar player Jeremy chose to go to this G as opposed to like a power chord. It just gives you more fullness. Pretty catchy way of uh, songwriting with this chord. And you find this with rock players often. 3 E muted A. Okay, you're naturally probably going to mute that A. Open D, open G, 3 B, 3 E. We're going to split the strings, top three, and then strum the bottom three. And then palm mute that root, that third fret low E, five times. Open D and G, so. So the open D and G, palm mute at 3E, go back to open D and G, and then palm mute the 3E twice, and then open D and G again. So be sure to, make sure you're following that B. Up the tempo. Then the second guitar comes in, and actually it's layered. There's a couple guitar tracks, there's about three that I'm hearing from what I remember. I'm going to show you this next one, which is a good actual exercise for just downstrokes and palm muting. Open D eight times, open A eight times, and palm mute all of it. And then third fret low E. Eight times. And then there's this uh, single note linear run that's going, it'll be out. And that's just all palm muted. Open two, three, open two, three, open two. That's all on the low E, and I would use first and second for that. So you have eight hits here and then into that. Okay, that's gonna repeat. When it does change, which I think is the third time around, um, you'll end up going... Oh, by the way, the intro... That actually goes two times. The second time you could hear they pulled it back in the mix. 
um, and, and brought in some other guitars. All right, so um, anyways, back to this part. The next thing that changes, you got the open D eight times palm muted. Then we go to the third fret A string. Same thing, eight times palm muted. So that'll be this. And then when you go to three E, it's just like before, eight times. Into the. All right. So as far as distortion guitar, we've got what we're gonna do covered. And then there's some clean stuff I want to show you. Um, in the beginning, this clean guitar that's layered in is a D major. From the bottom up, it's two, three, two. And we're going to strum. Strum the D, G, and B. And then go E, B, G. That's our string no, um, alphabetical names. Same concept, beat-wise, but go to an A major. That's two, 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 D, G, B. Strum the A, D, and G together, and then go B, G, D. So, oops. Into G major, just like we did before. Um, you'll strum the top, um, I'd go for the top four strings, and then go E, B, G, E, B, G, E, B, G, and that rhythm. pick that how you want typically you pick in the direction of the next string coming up that's why you see me going up up down up up down up 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 or, or up up down sorry um so that goes through right um the next clean thing that comes in i believe there's a lot of layers here i'm trying to remember we'll have this uh i think it's the basic breakdown in the verse it's just a strum over the D major chord as you've got those uh, bass melody notes going and then seven nine ten nine with first middle pinky third finger I know it's tough if you're not used to it um, you're gonna strum D G and B and then go E B G oh no you don't you just strum all si all, all four and then move that whole shape back to five, seven, eight, seven. Strum D, G, B, and then go B, G, E, which would be, okay? It's good to get used to these chords though. A lot of people are like, ah, I'm gonna slam a capo on it so I don't have to bar it, you know, then you can't play anything back here. So learn these chords this way. Um, one other part on the clean. I believe this is a layered clean guitar in the chorus. It's the D major, D, G, B, E, B, G. Um, this is when he goes to the C bass on the electric. But it's now going to be a C add 9. 3, 2, open, 3, 3. That's starting from the A string down. Strum uh, A, D, G. And then go E, B, G. Then we go to the G. And we picked that just like we did before on the clean. So, there is several of the guitar tracks for X Drive California, catchy tune. If you haven't heard them and you've just watched this lesson, be sure to go check them out. There's um, a lot of their songs online. You can find it, so type them in. Good, catchy, uh, melodic hard rock in your face. All right, so... Um, my email, rockingguitarlessons at hotmail.com. Um, if you're interested in lessons on Skype, I teach you around the world on Skype, 30 and 60 minute lessons per week or bi-weekly. And I also offer CVT lessons, um, custom video tablature and custom tablature. That's basically another option of taking lessons with me without um, actually the one-on-one -on -one live, but it's as close as you can get. You can read up about all that on my website, rockingguitarlessons.com. The price breakdown is there and everything. And... Um, Social media, let's talk about that really really quick. I use three of them. Facebook.com slash rock and guitar lessons. I'm not even going to say them all because they're in the description and they'll be in the edits. But Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Be sure to add me there. And of course, subscribe to this channel. Um, once you subscribe, click the notifications icon. It's a very active channel, so it'll let you know every time there's a new lesson coming up. I've been doing Q&As, keeping it in the music realm. I'm just expanding it a little bit for 2016. So um, until next time. My gross, keep rocking.
and we'll talk to you guys real, real soon. Go check out X Drive.